Hey everybody, I'm Tashaka Armstrong with the next episode of Tech for the Rest of Us. And today I'm talking about Christmas gifts for the kids that are kind of like, you know, how you hide vegetables and food that actually taste good so the kids don't know they're getting something healthy? Yeah, well, I have that equivalent for you in toys. Check out Ollie and Sphero. And actually, I just did that backwards. So I'm going to flip it up and say, check out Ollie and Sphero. They are robots that you control with your iOS or Android device. These robots feature gyroscopes and other technology that though they don't look like they have wheels, these things are fast. Sphero rolls up to about five miles per hour. Ollie actually is the newest product and rolls up to about 14 miles per hour. It is fast. Now, what you do with these products is you're able to download apps directly to your devices, which remotely control them via Bluetooth. So you've got uh, some people in some cases actually have said they've gotten up to about 100 feet worth of distance from the products before they lost connection. Typically, Bluetooth has about a 30 foot range. Some products uh, have a little bit further. Uh, again, in this case, you may experience connection up to about 100 feet. But what makes these products so, I think, significant for your Christmas spending dollar is that what you're able to do is utilize for Sphero up to 30 apps. Ali has um, under a dozen more are coming out this holiday season. And you can use those apps to actually teach your children some STEM or give them some STEM education, that science, technology, engineering, and math. There's an app called Macro Lab, which is available for the products, which allows you to actually program a course so into the device. So you can have the kids go out in the backyard, have them do it in the house. And just to give you an example, what I did with my own sons when we brought these home is I had them plot a course using, using the program Macro Lab to make Ollie go from their bedroom out down our hallway and stop at the front door. In order to do that, what you have to do with the Macro Lab program is actually program it based on three different parameters. Those parameters are milliseconds, speed, and degree heading. So when you first set up Ollie, you're going to actually calibrate the direction that is forward or zero degrees. That means it's going straight. What you'll do is when you first calibrate it, it will actually glow in the back, back here. And that lets you know that it's pointing toward you and the opposite direction away from that would be the zero degrees. So when you're telling your children to actually program the device, if it's gonna go, let's say, three miles an hour for 4,000 milliseconds, which is four seconds. So what you actually get eventually is you're gonna have your kids they're going to have to figure out, let's say you tell them, hey, just make it go 10 feet. They're going to have to figure out at what speed how long it takes to go that 10 feet. And that's where some of the math and some of the learning comes in. But the devices are so fun to use that if you actually can get it in there in a way that's kind of subtle, they're actually going to learn something from these products. You can also buy all kinds of uh, different wheels for the product so you can customize the different types of terrain it'll run on. Really is an excellent product. Uh, Sphero actually comes with other games that you can download for it. Like I said, Sphero actually has a gyroscope inside of it. So some of the games will actually work with your video game systems where you can use Sphero as a controller for the video game. Again, because it has a gyroscope, it knows uh, where, where it's up, down, it writes itself. Uh, accelerometers, different uh, sensors that are inside the product will then translate that information to the video games. And so let's say you're flying a plane or, or, or a spaceship. When you turn your hand, the ship will bank. So there's some very unique, very creative ways that children can actually use Sphero uh, connected with their video games. If some of this sounds like a lot of information for you, and maybe you're not the most computer savvy person, uh, Sphero and Ali, the people who make the products, actually have created a whole website uh, featuring what they call their Spark program. The Spark program is a place where you can go where you can download tutorials that are going to show you easily, step by step, how to use Sphero, how to use Ali, how to use some of these learning programs so that you can impart some of this information to your kids. Um, one of the things you'll be able to do is, is use other games, like there's a game called uh, Draw and Drive, where you actually draw 
patterns on the screen and it will drive based on those. Now this Christmas season, if you're buying an Xbox One or a PS4 or one of these other systems, you might spend a few hundred dollars. And sure, there are video games which are educationally based and will impart some, some cool things to the children. But for under 100 or in some cases with the limited edition kits or some of the, the, uh, the kits that have the different wheels and different products with them, you may spend under $200. These are really great products that your children can get so much more from than just playing with a remote control product. They're actually going to learn something. So for children who are interested in STEM or children who you'd like to maybe get a little interested in STEM, I highly recommend Sphero and Ollie. I was blown away by it the first time I ever saw it at CES. And it really is a product that I think you as a parent will love. I know I have three of my own and they actually enjoyed this product quite a bit. Uh, I'm Shaka Armstrong. If you have any questions about Sphero or Ollie, anything we've talked about in the video today, leave them in the comments below. I will make sure they get answered. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you on the next Tech for the Rest of Us.